Hello and welcome back for another episode of SPAC News. Today is Monday, April 11th. I'm Tony and this is what I have in store for you. I'll be taking a look at Spring Valley acquisition, then once again Digital World acquisition, and wrap it up with GGPI for Polestar. If you find any of the following information useful, then hit that like button. If you would like to continue receiving daily SPAC news from this channel, make sure you subscribe. Give me your feedback on this video and the channel overall. I would love to hear from you. Just leave a comment below. The market got hammered today. The Dow was down 413 points, S&P just above 75 points, and Nasdaq was down nearly 300 points. All this due to economic worries and the war in Ukraine, inflation worries, has caused a big sell-off. Now taking a look at today's SPAC gainers, coming in, rounding off on the top three, we got Spring Valley coming in third place for New Scale Power. On April 7, 2022, Spring Valley Acquisition, trading under the ticker symbol SV, announced the combination with New Scale Power and to continue moving with the SPAC merger. With a shareholder special meeting scheduled to take place on April 28th, there's much anticipation that the business merger will take place and it's highly expected to close shortly after this meeting. So subject to the standard customary closing conditions, NewScale will then be listed in the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol SMR for the ordinary shares and SMRWS for the warrants. SV with the previous close of $10.73 closed up $0.03 for a gain of 0.28% and after hours trading was up $0.10 for an additional gain of 0.93%. Now taking a closer look at New Scale Power, they are an energy contracting manufacturing company specializing in SMRs or small modular reactors. SMRs are a type of nuclear fission reactors that are small in scale than the typical nuclear reactors. Think of the now retired San Onofre Nuclear Generation Station in San Onofre, California. SMRs are designed to be manufactured at a plant then transport it to a site to be installed. The reduced on-site construction and increased containment efficiency are, and are claimed to enhance safety. The greater safety comes from its use of passive safety features that operate without human intervention, a concept already implemented in some conventional nuclear reactor types. There's also a reduction of staffing versus conventional nuclear reactors. And for the SPAC losers of the day, Coming in second is DWAC. With a two-day losing streak, it previously closed at $46.29. By the end of the trading session, it was down $0.84 cents for a loss of 1.81%. And in after hours, lost another $0.26 cents for a loss of 0.57%. To be fair, GGPI also had a losing day, coming in at 5th. The previous close was $12.21, it lost $0.14, cents. that's a total of 1.15%, and in after hours trading, lost another $0.05 cents for a loss of 0.41%. Today's down day for GGPI provided me with an opportunity to buy some, so I bought 100 shares. That wraps it up for me. If you found any of the previous information useful, make sure you hit that like button. And if you would like to continue receiving daily SPAC news from this channel, make sure you subscribe. Give me your feedback on this video and the channel overall. I would love to hear from you. Just leave a comment below. Later.